Hey Wanderers, welcome back to another episode of Wandering Willie. Sorry, I forgot my merch wear, but it is cold. This is my favorite sweatshirt, so today we are going to do the unboxing of a 10 by 10 crown shade. It's supposed to be easy up, one-handed operation. It is a little windy today, but I think we can make this work. We're going to add to it the standing room tents. It's a 10 by 10 tent designed to go up on your easy up. I, I needed a tent for my traveling sales and, uh, and the wandering willy right now until I've got a camper with me. So I wanted something I could use camping after. Like I hated to get a tent because I'm really not going to use a tent. I looked at all the modifying options. Uh, there, there's nothing that beats an easy up. So if this is truly a one person easy up, I can do it by myself. It's not super heavy to get in and out. It comes with a great case that has built in wheels and a handle. So it's got a couple handles on it for getting it in and out of the subi it actually fits in the subi end to end at the back now it's the only place you can put it but you can get it in from the tailgate it fits perfectly um if you know if i've got a different travel rig by december when i give the subi away then i just may include it with the adventure vehicle so it was uh, a gift to me and it'll become a gift to you but this is the crown shades and what I'm going to do is try to set it up by myself. I don't know how this is going to go. It's supposed to be pretty easy. I've got a couple of supplies here. I've got some ropes. Something to cut the ropes with. And if you come on in Sharon before I unpack it, I'm going to have you come with me and we'll kind of unpack it together. Now my plan is to do what millions and millions of, well, easy up owners do, which is put my top on and never take it back off. Ah. So we're going to find out if everything fits in with the top on because I'm not taking a top on and off America. I have to every time. What? Do you? I've never thought about doing it the other it way. It it. You never take that I've thing off ever again. I've never thought of doing that. Okay, they, they give you some spikes here. I'm telling you, there's no way Willie's trusting these no. spikes. <laughs> I at don't the even beach, know. Look, at the beach, they I think it includes bags for the beach, which are nice. Just yes. bags you fill with sand. Yeah. Um, you can do it with stone. Because, <laughs> you know, in stone, you're really not going to get anything hammered in the problem with sand and stone is i don't think it's enough weight to actually um, look a big wing comes up it's gone it's going because if it rattles back or forth or anything it's going to be yes. even worse and, and i'll tell you what a big enough wind comes out you're done i need to find a way to get that video on the youtube guys um i did a it was like the world's longest flea market oh yeah 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 remember that? yes up live. in north carolina yes and there was a windstorm and i was sitting at the grocery store caddy oh, corner I watching remember. our stuff okay <laughs> through the big glass windows because i'm not going out there like it was <laughs> it was horrendous <laughs> and i watched the canopy start lifting and once one lifted and it rotated and twisted like a pretzel and released the tension. Then it just took the next one and just started lifting it. And then it got to the third one. Like a cyclone of and, and look, we had boat parts. We had, I had all these big like manifolds for boat, boats out there for this thing, thinking I'd sell them. I actually, I knew I'd never sell them, but you can't sell them if you don't take them. They're heavy. That's the last <laughs> thing you want to take and have to transport. But we had all of that stuff anchoring it down. Oh. And that's why I lucked out because my canopy 
save the one next to oh, me. Oh, nice. It didn't, it didn't save it completely. Like, the legs kind of broke. But it kept it from going, and they were able to use it the next two days. Nice. The other two, they, and one from the far end of the parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> I, I mean, I, ha I felt nothing but horror for the people at the end. Because we were in the corner with trees. Oh, we had a four. So, had so a when they lifted them, it rotated them into the trees and then just crushed them and, and took Twisted them back them out up. through the other side like of the tree. Like a tornado tree. almost. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and the stuff at the front end, like if from Food Lion, I'm seeing the whole canopies going through wow. the air and boxes and all the stuff. It was a straight Because we all had all our stuff out there for yeah. the night. Like... That's everything right. yes and and we knew it was coming that's the sad part oh you can't get away from it i know <laughs> but you spend hours setting up so you just pull everything down you hunker everything the lesson i learned bungee cords from your tables up to the canopy oh, and nice. that keeps air from being able to force it Lift up it. a little bit yep and you got to have heavy tables so then, if you take a lot of boat parts, <laughs> a great thing would be a dumbbell weight set, like a full set or uh, sets of weights. Because yeah. then you take ropes and tie the tables to the ground with the weight, and then nothing can lift. And it, it keeps most of the rain out. Some of my stuff did get damp, but it was horrendous. It was, it was like a typhoon coming in. I love that about you. You always... Are thinking about the what ifs and oh yeah planning so for these them. things yeah. go quite frequently <laughs> so, so like if you leave camp real life <laughs> if you can tie it to four trees you're pretty safe yeah but you're gonna have to have it tied to something if you're gonna leave it just like leaving your canopy out is a bad idea yeah uh, I've done it before canopy survived because I have tie down but if you don't have tie downs, then you want tie down poles. Yes. Because that kind of guarantee gives you extra guarantee. Yes, because I broke one of my. One of your. One of my arms, yeah. Okay, so there's the wheels. Right here. And then one of the pins was undone. These are the pins that hold the case on. Now that's uh, the yeah. only thing I'm going to tell you. Mine is solid. It I do like not like lid. this at all. I think it's a horrible design. I don't think it's going to last, so I'm just, look, crown shades, if you change the design where it zips, I'll send you money for another case. Yeah. Because these pins, I don't think are going to last long, and they're going to get mm. popped out, and they're going to get broke. And it can get wet, like, well, mine, because you know, well, mine's outside right. my camper, mine zips You're shut. right. I mean, if I wanted to carry that on the roof rack, yep. or in a, you know, a trailer yeah. or something... I can't or strap it on top or I'm not going to want to because no. you're right. It's going to get wet. Yeah. And then my the wheels heavy. are in the bag. Now the, the bag is heavy. If you're, if you have weight limitations like I do. Well, and the bag makes it longer because I did does. try a bag and I it couldn't does. fit it in the bag it and does. in the Subi. I have a hard time. So the Subi, this is what you need guys. If you have a Baja and you're wanting a 10 by 10, this is a Baja 10 by 10. But you can't modify it like we were just talking well, about. Well, it's but. upside down, so yeah. Well, you had, you know, you don't want to. I was gonna oh, the crown shades. get close up to the. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't remember if I got there. No, I didn't bring our cutter. Okay. So your first hurdle right behind. Oh, you. there. Okay. First hurdle is you're gonna have to cut your bag or be pretty strong to get through there. So. Prepare for that if you're going out into the wild. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a nine inch. Your teeth, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's our first step one. And we're going to put all this together so we don't lose it. Got a bag that over there. I'm not using these probably at all, except there is an Allen key in there. That's a scary thought for and me. And part of me says they can be used for something. <laughs> That's a scary thought to me. So oh. I'm literally going to pop that Allen key out because I want to drop this bag in here to keep it from blowing away. Yeah. 
That means you have to put something together, doesn't it? Well, no, my guess is tighten something. Okay. Now, maybe after I put this on, and it's a one-time install, and they keep the price down by sending more <laughs> customer to do, which I understand. Look, as long as I don't have to stock it and check it out myself, because yep. the next step is I got to take it off a truck or yep. go to the you know, trailer 52 on the back of the lot. And I'm not doing that. What are you doing over there? Come here. Yeah. I thought I unpinned it, but I repinned it. So we're going to unpin it. Oh, I thought you knew that. Yeah, that you were showing, showing no. us what it did. Okay, there's oh, the there's... bag. Yep. Or something. I have some too. I don't know what they are. I think they're sandbags. I've never tried yeah. to use them. These are the sandbags. And you can fill them with water. Oh, good so idea. So we can go right here. And just look, if Willie had a little water pump, he could pump water in there. Yeah. Somebody's going to say, you don't need a pump. Yeah, I do, You actually. go put your hands in that water. I'm not going. I might. I it's might. too cold. Now, those are nice because they're not meshed. No. Nope. A lot of them are meshed. And so, they should hold some they water. They hold water. Yeah. And they've got the Velcro for Velcroing it to stitched. the legs. Oh, so, yeah. you set it up, Velcro it yeah. to the legs. And it should stay in place and hold the legs up. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try a bunch of different stuff. Because I'm going to tie this to the actual top rail. And then use this as a weighted bag. Oh. If it'll hold water. If not, then you could put some small water. You could put a... Uh, well, you can put anything in them, guys. Anything. You could put whatever you got around. Soft drinks if you're camping and because they're heavy. Just not pine cones. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop this off. The nice shit. I keep crowding you back for further and further. Okay, go oh, zoom it out. And if you zoom it in, it loses all all the mic. So you have to stay zoomed out to five. Okay. And move yourself in and out. Okay. Otherwise, that mic's gonna do weird stuff. Yeah, but I feel like I keep pushing you back towards the cars up the hill, Will, where we didn't clean. That's no, why. Okay. I'm putting the stuff out of my way. Okay. Gotcha. This is my site that I'm setting up in. Oh yeah, that's right. So I'm not. Look, I'm not starting it in the center. I understand that. But there's a method to Willie's madness. That's fine. I know. There's I'm... nothing to tie to here. So my thought is, if I can't get it to open some before I get down there, I'm carrying the whole thing down there, I'm tying it to that tree, and I'm coming back this way, then I'll untie it and move it. Gotcha. We just didn't start there because of the sun. I remember. Wrong place. So far, guys, I'm telling you, I don't know, it's pretty easy. This is where it's going to get more difficult because, well, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is we're going to pin a leg with the awesomeness yeah maybe that's why they the included them yeah. temporary holding <laughs> uh, more stuff. Make sure I get it in there because it is windy today I'm hoping I can just step one of these into the ground I may have to go back and get a hammer well I will go fetch it Cause I need another layer. Oh, are you getting cold? A little bit. Okay. <clears throat> I brought layers. It's getting cold out here. But I only have on one layer. You have on three. I think I'm gonna stake this one right here because it's grassy. Yep. Okay. Now. Ah, look at there. This is hard to watch and not be able to help. It is. It's hard to do. Because <laughs> I've got, oh, hello, Dorcas. Okay, so their claim to fame, before Willie started messing this all up, there's a whole claim to fame. You know what it is? No. Once you get as far as you can open it, you step inside. Ah, uh, well. Okay, so if, <laughs> if, if you remember, 
<laughs> Crown Shades claim to fame. <laughs> and why Willie asked for this as a present back in August. Look, that's it right there. I just needed to get it open a little and then you step in and push that thing off. It does it for you. <laughs> okay, we are back at it, guys. So where are we at? Well, I gotta unpin this leg because we are over the fire pit. We forgot the magic push button. I mean, the crown shades. Look, when I when I when I was asked what I wanted for my birthday, this was it specifically because of that button that makes it one hand operation that I forgot about. So, but now that I have it up, the question is by myself, can I get the cover on? But I've got a fix for that too already. Oh, good. See? I know. I'm glad that I had a panic but attack because I, I thought I lost the camera. Off camera. Well, I guess it was off camera until I realized it. Oh, the Aha. one you pinned down. Yes, this this is the leg. How I hard did. was that to get back up? It wasn't once I realized I needed to lift it a little <laughs> and grab the internal leg. It was like super easy. <laughs> you did the super white easy. part. <laughs> now this part's not too difficult either. So I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna go pull it. I'm gonna go down where it's flatter because it's yeah. not in a good spot. Now I probably could lift the whole thing from my handy dandy push button. <laughs> it's not bad. No, I know that was a good idea. That's not bad with the push button. Wasn't too heavy. You might want to grab it. M. Emmy. Come on. It's too far. Okay. Stay with Jetty. Yeah, sit with Jetty. Like, <laughs> look at Jetty. Everybody, look at Jetty. Jetty's the example. Can you see she blends into the. Jetty's uh, cold. She's shivering. I'm gonna let him in the car. I'm gonna let him in the car. Okay. She's shivering. Come on, y'all. M. <laughs> M. Come on, let's go. Come on, Jetty, let's go. Daddy's not going anywhere. Come on. Come on. See? That dog loves her daddy. Loves her daddy. Let's go see what your daddy's doing. Okay. So, if anyone's wondering why I picked purple, that's my company colors that actually, well pay for wandering willie <laughs> for <us to> play. <laughs> and what you see so we can play together guys so that's how that works now this i saw a crown shade yes. right there so i'm thinking i'll put it in this front corner So in the comments, I'm doing this right, I'm doing it wrong. I probably could have left it all folded up and dropped it over top. Were there directions? Oh, uh, probably <laughs> on the case. <laughs> I know there were, actually. <laughs> They're sewn into the case. You know what, people? If you want Willie's business, include a YouTube video or a video of how to do Look. it in the case, and he'll watch it. Yeah, here's the Reading, deal. not so much. He doesn't take the, the time. He doesn't have reality. time. <laughs> if I can't put an easy up together, <laughs> it's a 10 by 10. And they use the word easy. So I'm just saying, that's pretty direction free. So I picked a corner <laughs> with a logo and I'm going off of that. You're still there. So yeah, yeah I'm doing good. <laughs> and I can reach everything. So I'm five. Uh, 11 and a half. I oh, think you're over six half. foot, but. Four and a half. No, <laughs> I'm five, uh, really 5'10. Okay. So I got shoes on. Yeah, me so too. I'm pushing 5'11. <sighs> I'm not sure you're correct because you weren't correct about how old you were, so. Oh, well, that could be. <laughs> 55. 
How old do you think I am? <laughs> That's how old I really am. How old do you I think I am? I know what year you were born. Leave a comment on how old you think I am, because that's how old I really am. Only how old. No, oh, no, no, no. I, I can't to touch it. Because I was going to do this out in the woods by Oh, myself. I know. So I'm continuing on like you've got to do this all by your lonesome. That's guys. hard for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't fall. In the <coughs> I know my job's not to fall. <laughs> that is your only. Job, right? <laughs> Don't go in the water. No, However, I know me, and I brought extra clothes. So I got the wind coming from this side. I'm gonna have to figure out how this thing goes on on this side first. Oh, I got a huge piece of Velcro. Hold on, we're coming right here in the corner. Make sure that's down tight. And it just wraps. I'll show you in a sec. Right okay. around that leg. Oh, gotcha. So very easy. And we do have a breeze out here. And I do like it perfect because, well, I'm not taking it back off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe all these years. So the next one. Decades. <laughs> My family's been taking these things up and down. <laughs> We're a bunch of dorky dorks. <laughs> I'm not taking this thing on and off all the oh, time. Oh, my gosh. That is not happening. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh, tailgatings we've gone to on and off. Really? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pack it with the cover. It's a one time installation. And back in the I know day. It, just, it keeps the cost down. Look, it really does. Well, Can it you... keeps the mistakes down when you're back in the day when you're drinking and tailgating and putting these things up and down. Well, and you the break other thing things. is unboxing. Because yeah. people unbox them with a razor knife. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> and the next thing you know, That's not good. there's a hole in the cover because they get to the top. Look, you did it right. There's the logo right in the corner. Just got to find the good Velcro job. first. And then we got one more corner. This should be pretty much our hardest corner at this point. There we go. Okay. Guys, Willie was thinking about doing this whole thing over because he didn't think he did it now, right. It also has wow. built in vents to allow the air to escape. And I didn't notice it, but it does have water vents. Oh, look. Now, I don't know what that's going to do <laughs> to our tent idea. We're going to see. I was thinking it was full, but I'll tell you what. Every time we've gone camping with one of these, yeah. you do have an issue where they'll pocket water. Oh, they do. You're bad. right. You're right. So that will keep it from pocketing Yeah, and water. mine doesn't have that vent up there either. It doesn't have that either? No. Mine's See, a solid piece. if you get piece. a lot of wind under, uh, yeah. that'll relieve some of the wind. Yeah. And it'll let the heat out. Good good job, Crown Shades. Because really, my plans are really just to be using this for camping and then, well, just for... So, just for camping and pretty much well trade shows i go to yep if they're outdoors but then i plan on using it at the camper yeah i figured okay so i am gonna have to go do my button uh, to relieve my pressure to get that, that on first there. and then stretch it out because yeah. it's gonna have to stretch that cover okay so almost slide under and, oh, so if you slide under with me. Slide under and, and don't fall is my major job. So okay. I think over here, there's a button right here, oh, guys. Yeah. See the little red button? So I'm going to push up a little bit, take the pressure off, and that's it. Oh, I mean, really is. easy. Now we're going to pull it down to about here. Or we're going to go back outside. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to pull our cover on. Get this last leg on. Tight. Okay. Now, I'm uh, you want to slide? We'll have to slide back under again. We'll squat and watch. Okay, so I don't see any other, I'm looking for any other attachment points. Here's one here. Uh, 
So I'm gonna do these first before I lift that, at least that one. I think we're good. We're gonna lift. Look, that's wow, easy. and it's easy on my back. And I think if you wow. had a bad back, yeah, if you bent your, I, I did it wrong, guys. I stood like this, and I pushed up. What I should have done is crouched down a little bit, and then used my knees to push up. But yeah, sometimes we do it right, sometimes we do it wrong. I didn't get that over. I thought it was. Let me flip that back over. Okay. So we're gonna check this corner's not right. <sighs> oh, this corner oh, we came no. back down. We did not get in there right. Okay, so let me go back. Oh, we can see. Very easy though. I just pushed the button and There you boom. go. Yep, you did it. All right. Are you having to redo the Velcro? I'm tightening it just because I just don't want it to move oh, okay. right up so easy, if that makes sense. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to go back up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, actually, you can do all that from underneath by yourself. Now, the question is, can we just kind of lift? Really? Ah, uh, they're locked though, right? This is one of those red things. I don't think they're locked yet. No. Nope. Okay. Yet. So I'm gonna run one leg out. Okay. Now you can do it however you want. <laughs> but I'm gonna come over and do a counter leg. So it's kind of catty corner. And you'll notice none of them are stabbed except that one yet. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll have to do this one next because it is in the ground. Just hold it down. Okay. Maybe this one. Now, I did this because this is really, I'll see if it goes any higher. But I think that's it. Nope. It goes up another. Goes up two more. Oh, so you press it to release the out of the holes. It's gonna automatically ah, to lock it, it you, shut. Yeah. So then you just Here. pop it in, and you'll have to do it on each level. Okay. Because each level is gonna lock pop it back free. in. Yeah. Okay. Now the next step. Um, I'm gonna have you just step back there and show them how big it is compared to me. So they can kind of see. Your head clears it. That's plenty tall. Yep. You don't hit the edge or anything. Plenty but of room barely. in here. And I think next is I'm gonna stake the other legs. Well. I'm by myself. I don't want to do that yet. Here's the deal. When we get this out, now, this will be the next unboxing. So people that don't want the tent don't have to watch it. It's linked at the end. It's the standing room tent. Standingroom.com. And it's designed for an easy up. Ah. Specifically. Oh, this one was a gift as well, wasn't a it? 10 by 10, yes. I got the two together. Oh, okay. That way, I've got an easy up, but For I think daytime I'll use shade. a lot. Okay, I can set this up down by the water if I'm going to stay somewhere for a while and have it as kind of a little fishing retreat out of the sun. And uh, otherwise, I could have it up by the campground for some extra shade over a picnic table because this thing is it's huge. huge i mean i think it's 10 by 10. we can measure but it's a crown shade it's supposed to be 10 by 10 purple um but it's beautiful it's it is 
with Christmas lights in it. And easy to set up. So we're gonna unroll this. So if you didn't see that video, that's why I picked this canopy. Now this came tied. Oh, there it goes. I thought it was a willy proof knot. <laughs> um, a nice piece of, well, tent material torn off of something. So they're using scraps, which saves all money. This wasn't very expensive. One of the other reasons I picked it, because I'm not going to use a tent a lot. It's really something I can carry in the vehicle. So if I get too far from the camper and just are too tired to go back, and I don't want to sleep in the car, the, the, the Baja, <laughs> um, that I can just set up anywhere. I could find a little spot like this and just throw my rods out, make some dinner, and you know. Enjoy the, the evening. evening, yeah. And then fish in the morning and pack up and hit the right. Just a quick stopover. Well, when you're an, over an hour, almost an hour away from your camper, when you've worked 12 plus hours, yeah, it makes it difficult. So remember, that's how we found this place. <laughs> so again, I didn't read the directions, but there were no directions in that bag that I just looked at. So it's supposed to be pretty easy to figure out. And my door's over here. So your big screen. That's your door giveaway. Um, I doubt I would face my door ever towards the parking lot. So, but this would be a beautiful morning view walking out here in the tree. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it double door? That's what I was looking at. I was thinking, this oh, looks like the door, door down here. You got a door. So maybe it's not double door. It's probably just a back. And it opens. Let's see. This is yeah. cool. It's cool. There's nothing about it. Yeah. This is a door, too. So it's double door. Ah. So I do it this, this way. way. So you yeah. get a decent view in the morning. And double windows. So it's everybody kind of took off. And we open that window. Did oh, I spin it too far again? I don't, I'm a little confused. I did. <laughs> Confucius says. <laughs> Which means no matter that is where nice. Out, Which way the wind's coming from? Exactly. Oh, there's the mark for the door. The top level top in level. camping. Okay. So my thought is at this point, I just wanted you guys to see how big this gets. Now I've got to drop it down so I can attach the tent. Oh, this is not at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to go over the thing like this canopy part does. So I'm just going to go down to the first set of legs, I think. I got gotcha. you. The first drop. Oh, uh, that'll still be too tall, won't it? I, I don't know what part it attaches to. Tall. This Very is all new to me. Top. Top. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Huh? This is like a surprise. Uh oh, this was a slight mistake. Should have dropped this leg first because I pinned uh, it. Because that will break your feet. There it goes. Okay. Pretty easy. Wonder if I could tilt it. That would give me a little better access, I think. Much better access. Leave two legs up. We're gonna take our shoes off. And go to the center. <laughs> Looks like that's fine. In the very center. And the center has two big round hooks. Walk these in. And I've got to pull some of the tent towards me. We got those two. 
we're gonna grab this one, I guess. I'm gonna shut you in there, and then I'll come around. Okay. Are you gonna do these in any certain order for any certain reason? Not really. Just trying to figure out um, where they're gonna go. Because okay. I've not done this before either. Um, that's gonna be an outer edge right there. Oh, uh, yeah. That means my corner's way over here. Yeah. I might get my shoes back on at this point. Yeah. Turn the shoes on. Not big on walking on the top of the tent. Well, especially after what our shoes have been through today. Not really. Now, if you look, it has a whole nother roof under it. You guys see that? This is a solid tent roof. So you've got double roof. Oh, that's right. That's one, two. Yes. So even though this one has drain holes and all that, oh, it should still be That's what you were talking about. It's wonderful. still going to be okay. Yeah. So this is going to hook right here, but I have it in the right line. It doesn't look it's right. Twisted. Oh. Let me go. That looks better. Maybe. I oh. Think, uh, Up here. Ah. Up there. I yeah. Think. That's where the other one is on the other corner. This is a corner. Okay. Really easy. And here. Okay. So those are on. Now what we do, it looks like, is here. I don't think that's gonna be tight enough on those. Okay. So that's gonna turn around. Let's see. This. Wait, a minute. this yeah, something's messed up is. right here, Will. This is a we forgot a corner. No, I don't know. I think it's bigger than a ten by ten. I think that's the issue. I think the canopy might be. Well, I don't know. Hold on. Maybe it has triang got the crossbar. triangle. Triangle oh, you know sides. What? I don't know. No. I don't know exactly what it is, I think. Because that's got to go to a, a corner. Yeah. Yeah. I have all messed up there. Girl, you are totally right. So we've got to what? spin it. This door can't be catty cornered like that. <laughs> no. Uh, so the metal hooks. All the way back around. Oh, <laughs> no. And then, no, I think it's because the metal hooks are going to be stretchy hooks. Oh, I gotcha. So these brass hooks right here. Yes. Are going to hook in. Let me come around. Let's see. I don't know how close to get to the upper. Let me try. I'm going to try where they slide. Where they'll actually slide a little bit. Up and down. I think I need to be on the bungee around the pole. That's going to be in the Velcro. Mm. Let's see. Mm. This might be easier, even because then you could do it on the outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. It's kind of fun when they don't come with <laughs> I'm wondering if it's an adventure. I think oh, that that be, that's awful tight. I don't think 
think so. I think right here. I think right there. Because then, if you come back and put these black clips in. This bungee should be taking most of the brunt. I think I'd like to replace the bungees. That's what I really think I'd like to do. But this is actually... They look like big rubber hair bands. They don't to me. Let's go look at the far corner that I did. Look like that. And, uh, and at this point, we can take it up. Then we can work on it better. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. So this corner is actually around the bar too. Okay. So yep. that's good. That's snap this in. You can either snap in the upper or lower. So I'm going to go upper right here. And I'm going to go here. Let's see how much got so i can even go up higher with my legs at this point they're in the lowest oh uh, that's right so i think i think we're getting it i think we're going to use the upper again okay sorry oh you're good, you're good. You're good. Okay. upper again but you could use your upper or lower bar yeah I see that depending on your canopy design and I don't know where you're at how wet because the wetter you are the higher you're really going to want it because if you look here oh the sidewall it's thing. sidewalls are sealed yeah I they've love got that. a ceiling on them now I don't know what I'd do with that They're brass sealed. really you're going to want to tack oh it's supposed to oh, clip under the here. leg or something I remember correctly about those type no no because it doesn't come with this particular canopy so yes yeah, it does know. not come with the canopy yeah. yeah yeah so it's a it's a canopy design you may have to make some adjustments slight changes to but i could use just a regular wrap it around and then pin. down in one or a pin yeah i could just use um one of those an stakes pin. i yeah. don't think they gave there were no stakes pins 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 yeah, they're not stakes. They're stakes, but there were no <laughs> stakes with it. Um, this is all that it came with. So then we're going to take and tie this one off. Like so. Kind of new. Now, the stakes they really come with are never good. Uh, yeah. So the first thing you want to do is order good stakes if you don't have any. True. Okay, and this is the one that's not right. Okay. But it's supposed to go, which is not gonna happen, guys. I don't know where that's gonna go. Let me check, let's check the other side. I'll meet you around there. A of the other corner? Well, I got one change here, because it's pinned on this bar. So if I get on the other side of that. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. And then that one is, yeah. So we're gonna give some slack here by getting out of this piece and just onto the bungee, which uh, I'm telling you right now, I don't trust. <laughs> That'll be the first thing <laughs> I change yeah. is to a <laughs> closing carabiner or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Something, <laughs> something easy to close that is not that. Now this <laughs> one is still up on this upper leg. So if we go here, See, there's just no way. Yeah, that corner. That's that diagonal. That far. Let's see what I can do. Oh, that's just gonna ride back up. Um, it's gonna ride in. So this will have to be some modifications, pretty much right out of the package for me. Depending on your easy up, you may or may not. Let's see. 
And I can loosen some of those up because I cinched that one super tight. That's the other thing, I'm not really good at small knots. There we go. Oh, that's all beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so I took a whole bunch <laughs> over here. I'm going to give some back. <laughs> That's the saddest knot ever. <laughs> okay. It's been one of those days. But like it'll day. slip when we get to that back one if we <laughs> yeah, need it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I'm going to tie that one. I'm going to tie this one. And then what I think we're going to do for the bottom is stake it. Mm-hmm. And guys, I'm a hundred percent glad I'm not staying in this right now because it is definitely not ready to be stayed in. Like I, I could make it happen, but I wouldn't want to. What I'm gonna do? Is oh go yeah, there you go. In here, I'm gonna go a little closer. I'm gonna give myself that bit I didn't give myself. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so this one came completely off its rocker. Ah. Okay, that Would it work. make any difference in the, the struggle you're having? Yeah, if you did the diagonals first as you worked on around it instead of around it? Good question. Okay. I don't know if he's got a fish. I don't know. We'll have to try that next time because this will all have to be undone to take it down. Oh, yeah. You can leave the canopy on, but the tent and all that on now. See, because you can pull it almost all the way over here, but you left a lot over there. I don't know if it makes a difference. Well, the... <clears throat> so... It may not, but it does in my brain. Where I'm having an issue is these top bungees. If they had enough to equally hit the corners, I'd be fine. Uh, They're not. So these I are like this, you. and then Look, I got one on see. a bar here. Over yeah. in that corner, it's on the sidebar. Oh, uh, yeah. Us, we can see. So my thought is... I see what you're saying. When I'm totally ready, I'll end up replacing that. That's the first thing. I'm going to go buy some bungee cord and replace those. And replace those hooks to the car with something, something that's fast. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> something that's just ultra fast because I don't, especially if I hit weather. See, well, I'm like gotta, today, your hand, my hands are cold. I know yours have got to be. I know the one time I set up and I got done right before the storm, like right before. I was like, man, I lucked out. Okay. <laughs> so there's that one. Right. Now, I might even be able with steel spikes, see, mm. and the right length bungee cords to just use steel spikes and go right through the bungee and everything at the same time. Yeah. Which will be easy set up. Easy peasy. Okay. would actually probably square everything up too because that wasn't square there. So that's what I was it's thinking about the diagonals. For some reason that's still a little too loose. Look. Oh, because we gotta go up still. Oh, we're not finished. Okay. Let me do this one. I think up two will look good. <clears throat> this is a We're lot of walking more. around filming guys. Tell me if you I think it needs to be done differently. <laughs> You're getting motion sickness. There we go. Tighten that and pin that a little more. There's roots or something right here. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and this leg here. And I, look. Guys, this is great. Now that I yeah. realize just all I'm going to do is get steel pins. Change a little bit of this stuff. Yep. Um, I might even get some more of this to lengthen it. But that's pretty good. The problem is I've got nothing to really tie with. 
I think that's because the awning width is a little more. That's the other thing. They've got to take up for that. So something here that's bungee. Like yes. I might lengthen them both with bungee. Yeah, that'd be easy to stitch on. Would it? Oh, yeah, that's not a thick seam or anything. Yeah, okay. that's easy to sew. So there's a tag out <clears throat> here. And on the very bottom, too, the floor. Yeah. And really, if you got really bad Man, weather. look how nice that is, y'all. Oh, I found the dog. found it. Yeah. Well, some. Look at that. You can see straight through to the that water. wonky side. What the heck is that? Hold on. I still think it has something to do with that diagonal, huh? I think it's this button right here. Ah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's less wonky, right? Yep, way less. Still a wonky between, a little bit wonky between the bottom and the first tie. It like dents in that corner. In the wrong position. Can't yeah. <laughs> Is that better? No. It's like instead of a straight edge, it has a concave. That's a little bit better when you hold it down right. Yeah, that's better. Closer. Yeah. Now, I think once I fix the top with better bungee that will space itself evenly, I think I'll be good. Yeah, that's beautiful. You can see straight through. Let's, uh, look at there. Let's look at the inside. And then we'll pack it back up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun day had by all. Look at that. Nice big door. Guys, this is amazing. Wow. Look, you get two in one. You get an easy up that you actually can use for a lot of different things. And then you've got a tent for when you need a tent. Two big doors, four windows. So no matter what, you're gonna get a breeze. I hate being in a tent and the breeze is coming from a direction that I can't get, I can't get a breeze. And you, you sit there and swelter. Now, and you can stand up all the way around. It has a hook, so you could hang a light from it. Oh, if you yeah, your lantern. It. So probably I'll run a string through it. To leave, yeah. I'll take cut the plastic off. I'll uh, run a string through it with a carabiner. Yeah. So that I can use it. Now, remember, it's hooked to the top, so it's got the whole roof support. support. So it should hold... A, as much as the stitching will hold. I wouldn't put a lot of weight up there, but this is gorgeous. It is. Windows roll up, roll down. Um, I wish it looked, my living room would look <coughs> like this. <laughs> it's got pockets on all four. It's got four pockets. Yep. You can definitely sleep Jetty and I in here, no problem. Uh, I could even, if I wanted to set up for a while somewhere way out, I'd have room Oh, uh, heck yeah. You know, stuff. I don't know, a lazy boy. <laughs> right there. <laughs> that leather lazy boy I was sitting in. I'm just saying. No. Yeah. I've really, been though, looking this at is tents. Plenty of room. Yeah. Could have friends out for the weekend, hang out. It'd be good around your campsite fishing. just for having evening meals and stuff, you know? Yes, it would. If you were in a real if buggy skeeters, area yeah. or anti area. Heck yeah. You can set your chairs and a table up in you here. Be your and living have a room. place to eat that is really, look, the seams are waterproof. The floor wraps up. That is just a shiny spot. Um, how long this will be waterproof, I couldn't tell you, but... I usually double tarp anyway. I'm, see, and I'm not. I'm a horrible not tarper. <laughs> so, if you go camping with Willie, Willie's not big on dragging a lot of extra stuff out other than some fishing gear. 
Um, tarps are the last on my list of things I'm worried about bringing. But I should to protect the bottom of the tent. So, Harbor Freight is your cheapest place to get tarps. Look. But they do not warm cars very them. well. They're not giving me tools for free. I'm not sponsored by them. I have friends that have looked at me and said, Hell no, I won't ever shop there. Look. You want a tarp, you want rubber gloves, you want certain stuff, you want some tools you're not going to use a whole lot, like you're just a weekend warrior, a DIYer, or the, you know, I'm working on my own car guy. They are some of the best prices for really good tools. Okay, am I going to say they're a craftsman? Not necessarily, but I've had my craftsmen for forever, and they're still kicking with me, so I don't replace good things. And this tent is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I love you. I've got a canopy with the company colors and a tent. When I'm not using the tent, it's not like I feel it's a waste. Because um, she is totally correct. I've been in places you didn't want to eat outside because of the ants. And this is totally enclosed, totally sealed. Good breeze in here. I mean, the difference between in here and outside is not much. No. It's a hair warmer With everything. in here. But I bet if we shut, shut it everything up. up, it would get nice and warm in here. And honestly, Ooh. I'm, you know, in the summer, I'll have everything open. I understand the top, it's, you know, not screen. But I did. Are you sure? I did want the double, double top. Because of the fact that oh, yeah, when the... I end up in inclemental weather, that's worse than having a slightly warm night, which I don't think is going to happen with the four. But stay with me. We're going to be sleeping in this thing together, and uh, we'll let you know what nights are great and what nights are well. Wow. That was a little toasty. <laughs> But we're gonna pack it up. It's, I think it's gonna pack up easy. Maybe I'll time lapse it real into fast speed because I know the battery's gotta be on. I keep dead. looking. It, I don't know, I hadn't checked like, it. We've been 3%. going for 45 minutes and it's still t it's still working. So that's all I can tell you Okay. right now. <laughs> so we're gonna stop it here and then we'll do a pack up video if you guys wanna see it. I'll show you how easy. I think one of the first things I'm gonna do is buy a better bag to keep this in more like one of those waterproof bags yeah so it doesn't get damaged it's thicker it's more protected i can roll it up tight i'm gonna see how small i can pack this thing um and how yeah, much yeah i was thinking a stuff sack yes a really small stuff sack i'm thinking a waterproof because there's no there. hard things on it so it would should be perfectly fine yep so beautiful 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 I'm i so love excited. it Thanks, guys. Bye.